Brazil, the world's longest train has less than 13 hours to deliver its massive load of iron ore to the giant bulk carrier, the CSB Brilliant. But there are still 520 kilometers left to travel to the port in São Luís. Up ahead, the train's crew face a formidable challenge that will push the train's locomotives to their absolute limits. The highest point on the journey, the hills of Asailandia. The hills in Asailandia rise up to 240 meters above sea level. Lugging over 40,000 tons of train packed with iron ore over them is no easy feat. The crew will call in some extra muscle to help pull them over the hill. The dynamic helper. At high speed, this super-powered loco links up with the Carajaz train to give it an extra boost. This is no ordinary locomotive. Its engines boast 8,800 horsepower. It was designed and built especially for the Asailandia Hills. The driver who must tame its raw power today is Miguel Ferreira da Costa. Se a gente não colocar a máquina extra no trem com esse, com esse peso que ele tem e o tamanho dele, ele não consegue subir. The Carajás train begins its struggle up the 130 km slope. Driver Abadou edges past Miguel's engine. Lips, passando a remota B do minério 956, Brasil. A operação do Helpo Dinâmico ela precisa acontecer com muita precisão. Ele não pode aproximar com muita velocidade, ele também não pode ir muito lento, senão ele não vai alcançar o trem. Ele tem um trecho pré-determinado para acontecer o acoplamento né? e ele só, pode ter, só tem uma chance de fazer o acoplamento. Se o Miguel Zengen hits o back wagon do Carajás train com too much force, it could concertina its wagons, pushing them off the tracks. To stop this happening, Miguel's Loco has a laser range finder. As it approaches the rear of the train, the laser fires a beam of light onto the back wagon, which reflects it to a sensor. By measuring the time the light takes to travel, the system can work out the distance to the train in front and control the helper engine's speed. So it couples up without derailing the train. Taking over eight minutes to pass by, the 3.4 kilometer train is pushing hard. Miguel must now act fast, powering up his engines to begin the pursuit. As Miguel gets within range of the Carajás train, the laser system fires into action. Quer ver o laser abrir? O laser acabou de ser acionado nesse momento. The laser locks onto the back of the train. Now Miguel can monitor his approach with pinpoint accuracy. Abadou and Miguel must coordinate the relative speeds of their huge machines. The tiniest miscalculation could spell doom. A gente precisa fazer essa batida de forma muito suave. Por isso a velocidade precisa ser bastante equilibrada nesse nessa aproximação final. Estamos no início da rampa. Vamos manter a velocidade de mais ou menos 20 por hora. Estabilizou, continuamos a 10 metros da cauda do trem. 
Vamos ganhar velocidade para a próxima área. Oito metros. Sete metros. Dois metros. As the two Titanic trains collide, the couplings automatically lock together, adding an extra 8,800 horsepower to this extraordinary train. Todas as máquinas síncronas em oito pontos, entendeu? Nesse momento, nós temos aí os 26.300 HP de potência, força total, de todas as trações do trem estão sendo utilizadas agora. The extra thrust helps the massive train soar to the summit of the slope. Challenge 4 complete. They've conquered the hill. But two critical challenges still stand between the team and the departure of the CSB Brilliant.